Hi everyone, it's RTJ again. Um, I've been requested to do a realistic-ish hair tutorial, uh, like I've done on Ano Tiskune here uh, from Rosario Vampire. As you can see, I've got a lot of dark shading as well as a slight hint of light. I've only done it this dark uh, because of the background setting that he's in Nightfall. Uh, so I will show you a slightly lighter version, but all I've done is three layers: uh, a base layer, which will, you know, if I take that away, it takes away everything. And I've clipped two layers: one that's light and one that's dark. This is my base color. All I've done is added a, a dark shadow. I've been careful where to put it because, you know, some of these strands they're going to show, whereas others they're not. Uh, depending on where the light source is, of course. Uh, and then when you come down to adding the light, it's just the case of adding it to the reverse of where the dark. Uh, it's all about color choice as well. As you can see, I've got quite a pinkish red Minogue sort of color for the base. For the dark, I've gone very dark purple, which is completely on the opposite scale of the spectrum as you saw it move from up here to down here. And then for the light, I've gone for a complete yellowish colour. Yellow-orange, according to the chart. I disagree. I think it's a little bit more lighter than that. Yeah, there you go. Yellowish-orange. Uh, now, I'm not just going to show you how to do it from this picture. I'm going to move over, as you can see I've done a base, and show you how to do sections of the hair yourself. So I'm just going to very quickly finish some of this hair. I haven't really got a plan for it, but let's just say he's a punk rocker. Kind of looks like it the way I'm going. We'll say it goes like that. So, don't really need the face well. Yeah, right, we do. New layer underneath. I'm going to use the magic wand tool and select all of the hair which apparently isn't conjoined somewhere because otherwise that happens inside the circle is fine so where is it not joined for this there anywhere else there you got to make sure all your lines are joined up. I ain't got many flicks on these for some reason. I want ones like that. No matter. Uh, right, we've got to join them up like that. And then use the magic wand tool. It should hopefully get everywhere apart from the background. Like that. And if you watch the earlier tutorial, you'll know that uh, some of these areas aren't going to be automatically selected because they are less than three pixels big, you know, width wise. So as you can see, there's two pixel between there. You need at least three to do a selection. So just go back and select all the areas that you need. I'm going to try and make this video a little bit quicker than the last one because the last one was 20 minutes long and didn't really cover much. But I'm going to try and get plenty of detail in this one and in hopefully less than 20 minutes. If need be, I'll uh, fast forward the video. Okay, apart from that, that is all done now. So select the hair, move down to a new layer. Let's select the base color. We'll do it similar to Anotiskine and choose a another beige color. 
put that down as a, a base, preserve opacity. That will keep you from going anything over that. So if I choose a different color very quickly, you'll see that it won't appear on the white, but if I streak it through, it will appear on the red-ish. But it will appear within that selection. Uh, we do a new layer, we clip it, and again, with the clipping tool, it will clip to whatever is set in the underneath layer. So again, it will only go there rather, th rather than out there. Just editing and undoing using uh, Control Z. And then when it comes down to realistic hair, uh, you want to go to you know opposite ends of the spectrum. I'm going to go a little bit more blue on this one, I think. Uh, I'm going to use the brush tool, knock it down to decent size. It should have a bit less, sorry, a bit more blending than that. I'll get rid of the line art in a minute. You should always really choose where you want your light to come first. But uh, in this case, it doesn't really matter. All depends on how hard you press against your uh, pencil, uh, your pen and tablet. But it doesn't really matter how hard you do eventually go, because you can uh, blend it through, which is what, what I'm going to show you fairly soon. Let's try and get this to a state that I'm happy with. left side is looking better than the right at the minute so I'm going to try and blend that through just simply using the water tool and I do need to erase some of this because we are going to need solid lines as well as uh, blended lines solid lines for the absolute dark shadows like up here and the blended lines are for the effect which you're aiming for so you don't want to be blending absolutely everything and you'll s you'll do the same in uh, in the light version as well uh, I want to erase just a little bit of that there so that we do actually have a source of light coming in and let's say that the light is bent ricocheting straight off here that would remain completely straight because it would be a strand of hair uh, it would follow that line and you know goes like hair would uh, again opposite end of the spectrum I'm going to choose a light colour and again brush and again new layer clip it uh, say well, too light too light you ha you really do have to get a bit of practice in on these uh, let's say about there hmm. it's all about the colours of the spectrum and right now I'm struggling that's better. So you're only going to get some from around here. And it's as I said, uh, you know, some need to be a little bit lighter than others. I really, I should have drawn something middle so that where it all sections. I didn't really do this the way I'd normally do a drawing, but you know, I'm new to the tutorials. Give me a while and I will figure out how to do them in a way that you're all happy with. 
uh, any tips and information from you guys would be great. You know, how can I improve? What what am I doing wrong? In order to uh, explain easier to you. Because if there's going to be a lot of these, you don't want to get too confused by what I'm doing. Again, I'm just blending around some areas. And it's like I said, I'm not too happy with it because I haven't done what I'd normally would. Taking a look at that without the line art. That looks atrocious. It really does. Dark layer I'm fairly happy with, but the uh, the light layer not too much. So let's do something out the out the ordinary. Let's go back and revisit some of these with fine detail. I'm using the brush tool for the fine light for the finalized line because I tend to get a better effect. I'm going to drop that down to one though. Make it a little bit finer, refined. wrong because this one's in front and that's where I went wrong on this side I did it back to front I've done it there as well let's start from the front work back be easier don't ordinarily do a drawing mist during the uh, tutorials but I think it's about time I start doing it because otherwise I end up with fuck ups like that and don't moan at me for swearing my wife does it enough I'm 25 you're not going to stop me from swearing anymore <laughs> let's try and make that look fairly similar and then just to separate it a little bit. That looks a bit better, I think. So let's uh, select those lines. Hopefully everything's connected. Da. It was good up so up to so far. Where is it not connected? There. Well, so much for the uh, 25 minute video. 20 minute video I was aiming for that's not going to happen now is it let's uh, just join all these lines like this as you can see the brush tool gives a bit of a, a finer line when it comes down to detail and it, for some reason it just increases too much when it gets too big compare that to the pen at the same size what was that 3? You can see it's much more fine, solid, but it looks ridgy. But the uh, paintbrush doesn't make it look too bad. So I o I would always recommend for the final lines paintbrush over pen. Pen for you know the the basic red and black stuff that I did before. Um, sorry, red and blue stuff. Uh, but yeah, definitely the paintbrush for final lines. 
Let's undo those. Scroll back out. Let's try this magic wand again. Oh, hang on. I know it's bad, don't moan, I'm rushing. <sighs> I was about to say there's more than three pixels there, but obviously there's a tiny line there, so clearly not. Use the deselect tool for you know doing the reverse of what you just did, selecting it. That'll do, I think. That's good. So let's bring back the base color. Uh, pipette, and now reselect through all of those lines. And we should do that on this layer if it's unpreserved. Oy. Because it's already there, you have to go through every little bit. It'd have been easier to erase that, I think. Screw it. Let's do that instead. That's better. Right. All I did there was uh, erase the paper using the uh, full erase tool add the darks back uh, I'll get that colour again what do you say we do this right this time let's uh, do the same there as well erase that back to the paintbrush just little strokes Kind of looks a little bit like Yugi's hair at the minute. Or from my point of view. I may have just screwed up the light source there. Never mind. You live and learn. So, do what you will. Find the light source. Don't be afraid to change through all the different sizes. Obviously, you're not going to get any light down here if you've got all this hair bunching up. And don't forget, all you got to do is use a water tool to uh, bring it back down, blend it, and you know. What I will say though is uh, when practicing the the, the full color spectrum, I was you know I'm, I'm not an art student. This is all self-taught. Uh, I've never been to an art school. Haven't done art since year nine of you know high school in in Britain. So that's about thirteen, fourteen years old. Um, I'm twenty five now. I've never done art since before then. I was bad at it then. I'm much better now. But everything I've learnt since coming out of school is purely self-taught. So hopefully that allows me a little bit of slack for some of the shoddiness that you see. Uh, I don't I don't lie about the fact that I'm I'm not perfect. There are much better people out there than me that could possibly do these tutorials. However, some of the people that are better than me uh, either don't have time. Or I have met certain people that said, why should I share the knowledge I had to pay for? I disagree with that fact. That, uh, you know, you, you've been taught your skill. People are trying to learn from home because they've got a limited budget or can't afford a, an art school. And you're not willing to share because it gives you a better chance in, in a business environment. I, I, I don't know. I mean, what? what can possibly give them the right to deny others and that's why you know particularly the spirit hand art guild from the world art community page or WAC as most people know it um, 
we're we're doing these free tutorials. We've got some really great artists, um, Heiji and Gabriel. Uh, big mention up for them. They are brilliant pencil artists. Um, I think they're gonna move on to digital soon. I can't confirm that just yet, but I think they are thinking about that. Um, we've got Sonam, an absolute genius when it comes down to uh, digital artworks. Uh, anyone from WAC will testify to that and uh, he is a part of the uh, SAH uh, the SHA Shah um, guild and yes the guild is spirit hand art guild I know what that spells uh, it's just a funny little joke that we decided to name it with uh, don't be careful not to blend it too much otherwise you've got to go back and uh, touch up certain areas to make it look a little bit more realistic uh, don't be afraid to change the color either that's quite a light purple if you're going to go for a darker scenario go a slightly more darker purple it, it barely shows using the brush because you've blended it but you know you if you go black it kind of ruins it a little bit uh, I was always told, well I've recently been told, uh, never go black and uh, I can testify the, the black does ruin it quite a lot. I will however add a little bit in here using the uh, the brush tool just to give that effect of depth because using the brush tool if your dilutions up quite a lot like mine it won't come out black it will come out a, a navy bluish color if it's against a purple however if it's against a pink it's probably going to come out more red so we'll do it like that just erase that little bit there okay I'm now happy with that or thereabouts now we're going to move back onto that color spectrum. I wasn't particularly happy with the uh, yellow that I cho chose before, so let's try a, a pinkish color. I know it's not the complete opposite of the spectrum like I said to before, but let's just see what happens. Yeah, there we go. That seems to be a bit better for a lighter environment. I remember he's a, a punk rocker guy, this one. So... Anything that you do get into the dark, just go back over once you've got your initial colours down. Just go back over and uh, cut that up, so to speak. You know, erase what you don't want there. I've got to say this pink has worked a lot better. I, I prefer it much more than that yellow that I chose before. Uh, yeah, it's giving me a lot better effect. I like it. Um, another tool you can use is the blur. Uh, apparently, it doesn't work that well for the realism. And, you know, you compare that to the water tool. Uh, go for something similar. You know, the water tool can spread it about a little bit more. The blur just tends to fade it out. Uh, which is probably what I should have done on that one. But uh, it doesn't matter. Fade that like that. Don't forget you gotta leave some seriously solid lines for effect, like there. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna uh blend that too much. Because uh, you know, ov obviously if I do it's gonna end up as faded as that, then it's gonna ruin the effect. Because the more light let's say the light's coming down, it's hitting the front a lot more than it is hit hitting the back. The more at the front wants more light effect. So I'm not going to blade this uh, run that through too much on the front ones but down here I'm going to fade it out and then go back and erase what you don't want like I did there and there. Um, remember that some of these underlays they're going to need darkening as well. So that's because I screwed up on that one, I fully admit. 
I'm not like some out there that will say they're perfect and know that know for a fact that they screwed up. I'm always open and honest, so if you've got a comment for me and I disagree, then I strongly disagree. But if I completely agree with it, then I'm not ripping the shit out of you. I am honestly agreeing with it and owning up my uh, owning up with the problems that I did. I'm on the wrong way for that. There we go. So, oh, and any criticism I do. I mean, I know I'm not perfect, but any cri criticism I do, it's for a reason. Okay, when I was when I first started doing the whole art scene and you know getting fairly good, uh, my first drawing, everyone was complimenting, saying how brilliant it was, and uh, you know it it was okay, it wasn't perfect, but uh, you know it, I I hit a big you know big. Uh, the word I'm looking for. Downfall when uh, I tried my next drawing and everyone ripped the shit out of it. You know, it, it's never good for a person's self-esteem to think, oh, they're brilliant at something and then suddenly be dropped uh, like an anvil uh, to the top of the head or something like that. Uh, you know, that looks a lot better. Uh, you can add these layers using the uh, merge down layer tool. Uh, and it makes it easier for uh, changing the color of it. Hue and saturation, you can change that. That kind of looks like something out of Teen Titans. Uh, you know, have a bit of a fun play around with that. Zero will always take it back to uh, what the original colors. I can turn it gray, so if I want a punk rock star in a manga, there you go, saturation to minus 100%. That's just too blurred. I don't know why the saturation is plus 100. It should never go that high, I don't think. Luminescence, obviously. Lower the luminosity, you got dark. Higher the luminosity, you got white. White. So to darken that up a little bit, you just take it down a couple of notches. But I'll bring it back to the original. Uh, another one you've got is uh, on the filter tab. Brightness and contrast. Obviously, you can make that much brighter. It's just like the luminosity tool, but it uh, it keeps more detail. Like that would be a, a darker room that he stood it stood in, or you know, there he's in heaven or something like that. Um, you know, contrast again. It's just like the saturation tool. Completely useless most of the time. Color deepen. Um, this one tends to be really good for when you are. I mean, that gives you a much better grayscale than uh, the contrast or the saturation. Um, and again, it just ruins it the higher you get. So have a play about with that. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I can tell you about that. Uh, you can always undo the layers if you don't feel happy with it. Uh, so you can just take that off, start again, or take that off, leave that on, and see where the shadows are. I have found that it's it's easier for me to do the shadows first. Uh, usually, if I need a light source, I'll just get a yellow colour. Get off that. I'll just get a yellow colour. I'll take the pen to a hundred or so, and get make a new layer. Put that on top. That's the light source. Drop the pen down to about less than half its size. You know, figuring out your light sources. If you've got multiple light sources, like he's on a stage or something like that, yeah, another one. All depends on the scenery you've got outside. You've got a sun. You know, piss about with it the way you want. But it's all about practice, uh, and that that is what I would suggest for all all of those who uh, are trying to do something basic first you never want to try and go straight to detail like this it took me a long time to to figure this out I'm clearly you can see I'm nowhere near perfect but I'm getting there I'm gonna wrap this up and thank you for watching